The only thing more terrifying than Michael Myers around Halloween time is tech sales. This industry over the last couple years has filled up a graveyard full of thousands upon thousands of tech sales reps who didn't quite make it. And in this video, you're gonna learn why. Here are three dark truths nobody wants to omit about this too good to be true industry. Dark truth number one, most don't last. Here we have 10 sales reps. At the two year mark, five have left sales altogether. They've given up on sales. They've gotten a boring office job like everybody else with a steady paycheck. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like hell to me. At the five year mark, two others have left sales altogether. That means only 30% of reps have a career in tech sales north of five years. 30%, that's completely ridiculous, not sustainable. And don't worry guys, we're gonna get into the reasons why in a second. Now let's pretend this is you. You're an SDR working in tech sales. You're in a conference room at a team meeting, two of your coworkers sit on both sides of you. You look to your left, you look to your right. Within 12 months, one of them will be gone. They will no longer be an SDR at your company. Within 24 months, the other will be gone. SDRs have a 35% to 40% churn rate. AEs have a 25 to 30% churn rate compared to a 13% churn rate for all other industries. I have been in my role for three years. I'm the most tenured person in my sales role. If you guys went on LinkedIn and you just looked at random profiles of SDRs, account executives within tech sales, you would find that 70% of those folks started the role they're working right now within the last two, maybe three years. It's really rare to see somebody in a role north of three years in tech sales. And a big reason why guys, there's such a big churn rate in tech sales brings us to dark truth number two. Very few make a lot of money. Here we have our 10 reps again. A huge misconception in tech sales is everybody working in tech sales is making a ton of money. It's easy money. They're all making multiple six figures. That's not the case whatsoever. Out of these 10 reps, only one rep is making north of $200,000. Only one, only 10% of tech sales reps are making multiple six figures. And the reason that is guys is because companies manufacture it this way. This is what they do. Here we have five reps. To make it easy, let's say that each rep has a quota of $500,000. That totals to 2.5 million. The company's quota is 1.5 million. Obviously, 1.5 does not equal 2.5. This is called quota over assignment. Rep one has a tough year. They probably weren't subscribed to the YouTube channel. They only brought in $175,000 of their $500,000 quota. Rep two, on the other hand, they killed it. They hit 150% to the quota. Rep three just barely hit quota. Rep four hit 70%. And rep five has a rough year, finishing at 50% to their number. Totaling those numbers up, the sales team brought in $2 million, overachieving the company's quota by $500,000. So it's a great year for the company, but only 40% of the sales team hit their quota. And 40% right now in tech sales is the average quota attainment, which is abysmal to say the least. You might be surprised, but of these five reps, the company likes rep number four the most because they're contributing, but not overachieving. They don't have to pay large commission checks because that rep did not hit quota, did not overachieve quota. They're not in accelerators, so not getting these big, big, big commission checks like rep number two and three. Most tech sales roles, you're not set up for success, you're set up to fail right from the start. You're given an unrealistic quota, you have little chance of hitting. You have a manager who hasn't sold anything in years who's gonna provide no feedback, coaching, advice to hit that number. Because you're not hitting your number, you're not doing well, it's not your fault, it's the company's fault. The manager starts micromanaging you, making your life a living hell, and within 18 months, you decide to quit that job and start all over again in a new tech sales role. Eventually, you're sick and tired of the tech sales hamster wheel, you decide to get off and quit sales altogether. This is the reality for 70% of people in tech sales. And I know when you guys go into LinkedIn, you see all these sales influencers who are 24, 25, 26 years old, have been in sales a couple years, they're doing quite well, they're making a lot of money, they're going to president's clubs, and it makes it seem like that is the reality of tech sales, when that's not the reality of tech sales. And the shame of it is, guys, there's so many people out there, hundreds of or thousands of people to that one person who's really successful that didn't quite make it. And a lot of times it was for reasons out of their control. And this leads us to dark truth number three, tech sales is mostly luck. There are three T's to sales, territory, timing, talent, in that order. In my opinion, territory and timing, those two factors make up 70% of your chances to succeed in a tech sales role. 
For the most part, guys, you don't have any control over your territory assignment. It's handed to you. It comes down to luck. You could be the most talented rep in the world. You could be the rep who's been subscribed to this YouTube channel. You're doing really well. You're very skilled. You're very talented. But if you have bad territory in the short term, you're not going to sell anything. Now, if the company gives you time, if you are a skilled and talented salesperson, yeah, over time, you can build that territory up and sell a lot in that territory. But unfortunately, most tech sales companies don't give reps the time they need, especially in a bad territory, to build it up. You're put on a pip and you're laid off. And the worst part about it is sales leadership will never give you the excuse of a bad territory. They won't even acknowledge it. Contrary to popular sales leadership belief, we as salespeople have very little control in terms of when somebody buys our product or service. Things happen, budgets get pulled, people leave jobs, priorities change. If timing is not on your side within the accounts you sell to within your territory, you're not gonna hit your number. The remaining 30% of the success pie is your talent and the companies you decide to sell for throughout your career. Those two factors determine your longevity in sales, a long sales career, and your success. Going back to our 10 reps, where only three were working in tech sales north of five years. I bet these reps treated their sales role like a craft and not just like another job. They decided, you know what, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to get my talent up, to skill up. I'm gonna role play every single day. I'm gonna read books. I'm gonna pay for a coach. I'm gonna watch Matt's YouTube channel. That is what they're doing, number one. And number two, they've gotten really good at making sure they're vetting and picking the right companies where they actually have a chance to hit their quota and be successful. A lot of times, reps earlier in their career, they're put into awful situations with an awful manager, an awful product, an awful environment, where that experience, and this was me multiple times early in my career, and I'm still early in my career, but the first couple jobs I had, where that experience I thought was uniform across the board for other sales jobs. And I will say it, it is difficult to find the right job. And that's why you should subscribe to this YouTube channel because a big focus of this channel is making sure you guys know how to vet companies and pick the right companies and higher levels can help you do that in the description below. Or they think, and I know I thought this, or they think because they weren't successful, because they weren't very good at sales or did not hit their quota, they think they're not good at sales altogether. When guys, again, this comes down to a lot of luck and it comes down to being put in the right situation at the right time with the right manager selling the right product where you actually have a chance to be successful. So the reason I made this video is every time I go on LinkedIn, people make it seem like everybody is killing it when that's not the case whatsoever. I don't want this video to scare you guys away from tech sales. I'm going to be in tech sales for a really long time, but the biggest factor of in terms of my success over the last three years is because I was put into the right situation where I actually had a chance to be successful. And I want that for you guys too. So if you want that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and look out for these videos on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.